Now, Dignity Dreams is a non-governmental organization which focuses on helping South Africa's schoolgirls meet their personal hygiene requirements. The over, uh, I, I suppose that, that, that the goal of Dignity Dreams is to ensure that every underprivileged girl and woman in South Africa and beyond receives a Dignity Dreams pack so that their monthlies uh, do not prevent them from attending school, university or work. Dignity Dreams reusable towels. Uh, they're beautiful, they're feminine, they enable girls and women to maintain their dignity as well. Here to tell us more about the project is the founder of Dignity Dreams, Sandra Miller. Welcome Sandra, good to have you on the program. Thank you very, very much. All right, so uh, Dignity Dreams, where did this idea come about? It, it came about when, when I met school girls, um, young school girls, and I asked them whether they preferred sanitary towels to tampons. Yeah. And to my horror, they stared at me blankly and said, they're using socks, toilet paper, twigs, <laughs> wow. and um, I, I just realized then that, you know, some, something's got to happen. Something's, something's got to happen. So, so where, where were you looking? Where, where, where were the places that you went to? You know, um, um, originally, uh, uh, Leanne, I was going to rural South Africa, yeah. you know, to, but I found more and more girls everywhere needed, in, in suburbs, in townships. Um, they, they just can't, their parents just can't pay for sanitary. They can't afford it. They it's can't a, afford it's a, it. No. It's no. a necessity. I'm Correct. not even going to call it a luxury. Yes. Because yes. It's not a luxury. That yes. is a, it's a necessity that every young woman needs. And it's and something that you and it. I just take for granted. Yeah. You know, most of us just went into checkers and Absolutely. bought it. And, and these poor girls don't. Yeah. They just don't what, have it. what drove you to embark on this journey? What made you think about it? I, I think it was, I really, I really think it was the horror of finding out that, that the, you know, when I found out five, the girls um, don't go to school for, for up to five days uh, per month. Now to you and I, five days at home is great, you know, DSTV, books, <laughs> but these girls for five days, not only are they in a shack, but they're very afraid. No one's told them what's happening, that their bodies are changing. So. Apart from handing out the packs, I, I, I speak to girls and I try to make them understand that they, they enter in womanhood. It's a very special time of their lives and, and that, that they, they must not be afraid. Mm. But I'm, I'm afraid these girls are, they, they're given very, very little info by, by peers, by teachers, etc. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. a, little bit of education they don't know what's happening no, no, there's no idea I think I just got to tell you that that parental guidance is missing a lot of them are child-headed homes yes and child that's a problem homes, yeah. okay so we've painted the scenario yes. and it's a it's a picture that we're not all unfamiliar with because Correct. unfortunately this is the reality so how do we help because I know I, there must be so many people who are thinking okay this is brilliant but now my first question quickly how many schools or girls have you distributed okay. this to already? All right. Um, we've, we've, only, we've, we've only been going since uh, July last year. We've handed out five and a half thousand Well packs. done. But um, I got stats from States SA in no fee schools. Yeah. There are eight million people. Oh my gosh. So if you take half of that, then it's four million girls <laughs> and that's just in no fee schools talking about schools where people are just battling, their folks are battling. So we reckon it should be about 7 million. 7 million. Girls. Today. Today, Leanne. Today. That's what you need today. And you've today. done 5,500. I've only done 5. But you know what? As the company is growing now, we can set up more hubs. We can get a lot more women sewing. Yeah. So we need things like overlockers and machines. Because the more women we can employ, the more they can make and the more I can, and the more people help us, yeah. the, the more we the can. The bigger you can take absolutely. this and distribute. Yeah. How do we get hold of you? Um, uh, you can, I think, the uh, best is perhaps the uh, website. Would you uh, like Dignitydreams.ca.za. No, no, no. Dignitydreams.com. Dot com. Dot com. Good. I'm glad Dignity, I asked you that. Dignitydreams.com. So it's dignitydreams.com. Visit that. Yeah. All the information All is the there. All the information is there. You can there. donate, Everything you can assist, means. you can... I mean, this is... It's the basic necessities that every young girl... And you can change their life. 
to last between five, about up to five years, three yes, to five yes. years. If they look after it, five That's years. Amazing. If they don't look, the, the panties won't last. Yes, of course, but yeah. Uh, but we'll the, the actual, yeah. Sandra, yeah. you keep up this beautiful thank work that you. you're doing, and thank, thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing. That was Sandra Miller giving us insights about the dignity dream um, and uh, meeting the needs of South African schoolgirls. Now, visit that website, www.dignitydreams.com, and you can change a girl's life just like that. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you after this. Oh.